So my fosters are still waiting on their nest. Um, I'm going to give them to them the day they go off the medication, which will be Tuesday night. Uh, my cockatiel, so I had um, zoo and cotton set up in here, and then a couple of days later I added Wiz and Dotty over there, and zoo and cotton went backwards. And I think they were just doing territorial things, because I've never had both of them set up at the same time. So I just put a, a visual block there, and now Zoo and Cotton are back in the nest box again. So um, everybody is still on their, um, their bug medicine, the um, Renitazole. So, um, and it's, it's a short-term med. It's five to seven days. I'll probably give it to them for six days. Because a lot of them don't have anything going on with them, but um, Wiz and um, Dottie certainly did. So maybe they'll get seven days. And these guys certainly will too. Um, my male Bork is back to looking a little sad, although still more alert than usual, because this medication makes them feel bad. It upsets their stomach. So um, although everybody's been set up, I'm not getting a lot of activity just because everyone's kind of winding down because they're not feeling great. So these two aren't getting a nest box unless that girl puts on some weight, but they're certainly in love. Um, and these two, I'm hoping that now that um, they've got the divider here um, and they can't see competition immediately, that they will start moving into the nest box because I haven't seen them do that yet. Um, these two are lovey-dovey, but not, not a lot of action. Um, she was going in and out of the nest box, but I haven't seen her in there lately, so I think she... So Renitazole has kind of turned them around. Um, it has occurred to me to worry that maybe my males are all going to drop fertility for a while because of the medication. But, you know, who knows? That could just be me worrying over nothing. So that is um, Kenny Loggins and uh, Aster. Um, this is Indus and powder and they are getting along gangbusters powder has been in the box but again everybody's grinding to a halt because of the medication is making them feel bad but the minute i take them off it may start feeling better they'll pick up again this is so this is one of my girls that actually is in the nest this is Bubba jr and sif is in here however it's probably still a few more days before she lays that first egg which is good um this is Puff and Jade, and they are going along doing their thing. They are very lovey-dovey. Um, this is Larkspur and Unikite, and I saw Larkspur going in and out of the box, but I, she has also stopped going in and out, so um, I think I'm going to have to... Oh, look, they knocked their divider down. Let me fix this. Okay, so again, they will pick up when things, when the medication's over. Oh, look, this is the first time I've seen, this is, um, Dolorite and his girl is Shamrock, and this is the first time I've seen her staying in the box, so I now have three hens that are actually going in and sitting. So what the breeding, um... How this goes is that they, they establish that the box is theirs, they stake, stake out their claim and their territory, then the hen goes into the box and she sits there in the nice, dark, cozy little box for about four days and that triggers her hormones to start laying eggs. So, now that I've seen her in, I can bet I'll get an egg in the next few days. Let's peek and see if she pulled anything fast on me here. Nope, just hanging out in there, doing what she's supposed to do. This is... Um, Murphy and Amethyst, and I have not seen her in the box, but she loves her Murphy. And this girl is the other hen that's been in the box very consistently, so I expect her to drop me an egg in the next few days, too. Nothing yet. I expect, like I said, it is possible that my males are going to go off fertility because they don't feel good right now. 
but that kind of thing generally passes quickly. But it's possible I could end up with um, my first egg being blank. But by the time a hen, it takes a hen two weeks to lay her whole clutch of eggs, and by the end of those two weeks, fertility would pick up again. So this is um, Dasite and his girl Belle. And she is actually looking like the medication is making a difference for her. Um, she's looking more lively, a little more bright. Um, I think she's gaining weight. So perhaps she was uh, one of the ones that needed a little help. She also went egg bound the first time I tried to breed her, but the second time she did just fine. So, and she's a gorgeous bird, so we'll make it a keeper. This is, um, this is my little guy, Amenadiel, and his girl, um, Cerulean. And although they looked like they were putting it together at one point, they do not look like they're putting it together now. Um, and I suspect it's the medication. So, I should probably take their nest box off, just in case, because putting a nest box on um, creates um, pressure to hurry up, pick a mate, breed, make it happen. And neither one of these birds are feeling that right now, so it's pretty obvious I should probably take it off. So I will do that. Um, you see how I double clip the door above all my nest boxes? Because they will pull a clip and close the door on themselves and lock themselves in the nest box. So we'll just take this, put it down here, and take the pressure off for a few days until everybody starts feeling better. Oh, there, she's silent over to him. But there wasn't a lot of acknowledgement. I've seen them do the kiss, kiss, hu love, love, but they're both clearly not feeling great. Um, this is Morpho and some more, and they're both looking a little sad, too. But they're still lovey-dovey, so that's okay. This is um, Callahan and Rain, who tried last fall and failed. I'm looking for better fertility this time, but they're not getting a box yet. I just put them in here like a day ago. So. Um, this little girl is spending all her time peering in that box, but I don't think she's actually been in it yet. This is Zephyr and Robin. And um, Robin's spending a lot of time peering in that box. It's definitely got her attention. She has her mate. Everything is on track and ready to go. So. One of these days I'll come out here and I won't find her, and that will be four days before she lays an egg. And these two, this is Ash and Raspberry, and Raspberry loves to chew up her divider. Um, but again, everybody's kind of on hold, so I'm not seeing a lot happening here. The, oh, look at that. I have another hand in a box. This is O'Reilly and his mate, um, Clement, and it's as typical, bonded pairs go to work. So these guys bred last year and gave me some beautiful babies, so they're doing it again. And these two are a little bit less, keep, gotta chew everything up and go crazy and starting to calm down. So, um, and they're not sitting at opposite ends of the perch, so maybe they're starting to um, grow on each other. So, a whole lot of not much happening right now, but I am, the last day of medication for the Borks is Sunday, which is tomorrow, and then the, the last day of medication for everybody else is Tuesday, so I expect come around Wednesday or Thursday, all of a sudden everybody will leap back into action, and um, eggs will start dropping. So, that's the current update.